iOS 17 brings significant changes to Siri. Siri has often responded slowly and sometimes just doesn't work well. In this update, some of our frustrations have been addressed and there are some great features you should try. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There's no cost for subscribing. Let's get started. Talking to Siri in iOS and iPadOS 17 gets easier. The default wake word is now Siri, or you can still use the classic, Hey Siri. You don't have to do anything special to make your iPhone respond, but here's how to check the settings if it's not working. Open the settings app, tap on Siri and search, tap on listen for, and at the very top, this is the default setting and I'm not gonna say it because it will trigger. So you can choose which setting you want to use. And if it's not working, just come in and make sure that you have a setting or an option selected. And now you shouldn't have any problems using Hey Apple Lady. Two new British voices have been added and are far more realistic than the originals, and they're called British 3 and British 4. To access them, all you need to do is remain in Siri in search, and then select Siri Voice. I already have Siri uh, Voice 4 selected, so I'm going to go ahead and just tap it, and you'll hear what it sounds like. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. And now, here's what voice 3 sounds like. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. And so those are the options available uh, with new voices. You can see that there are many other options available from American all the way through to South African. Siri can now read entire articles in the Safari browser. This differs from the existing voice-driven speak screen in the accessibility features which uses a digital voice rather than the more realistic Siri voices. Here's how to have Siri read an article. To have a web page read aloud, all you need to do is say, Siri, read this page. Three easy ways to alphabetize your home screen layout. So many iPhone users ask if there's a way to alphabetize your When you're finished, your iPhone just say, if you want Siri, to stop. Note uh, that this will only work on web pages with a reader view version. It removes everything except the web page's essential content, words, and images. They are making it easier for Siri to read aloud as a human might iOS 17 now lets you make back-to-back -back commands rather than having to say Siri between each one. This feature is enabled and is how Siri works. However, there are some limits. Siri will only listen for the follow-up command for a few seconds after the previous command is replied to. Let's take a look at some examples. Here's how to give back-to-back -back commands. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Expect some clear skies today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 55 degrees, with overnight lows around 35. How's the weather tomorrow? Expect partly cloudy skies tomorrow. Daytime temperatures will hover around 61 degrees, with overnight lows around 32. Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes starting now. And as you can see, Siri continues to listen um, for commands for a few seconds before it'll finally just turn off. You can now change the app Siri uses to send messages. In the previous version, you could specify sending a message through WhatsApp or any other type of text messaging app when you gave the command for that specific app or platform. Siri assumed you wanted to use that messaging app. Well, now you'll see an on-screen prompt. So if I say, hey, Siri, send Susan a message. What do you want to say to Susan? 
Now you see the prompt comes up and it's going to start immediately typing whatever I'm saying. But if I tap the little green icon for text messages, Send you'll it. see that I have an option to use Gmail as well or the messaging app or depending on what other messaging app you have on your iPhone, you should see that there as well. Standby is a brand new feature in iOS 17, and while it's not solely a Siri feature, Siri plays a significant part. Standby turns your iPhone into a smart mini display. It is enabled automatically and when your iPhone rests on its side and is plugged in or wireless recharged. You can ask Siri requests in standby mode even if the screen is off. An example of this is setting a timer and you'll see that the screen will fill with a color animation. Siri, set a timer for 20 seconds. 20 seconds, starting now. And as you can see, the color animation goes across the screen as the counter is uh, counting down. I will do a full video on the new feature of standby mode soon. The progress with Siri makes your interactions feel more natural. I love the back-to-back -back responses and the British voices are fun. I appreciate standby mode, but use it more as a bedside clock and having Siri makes it a fun feature. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.